Hey brother, what's going on? So in this video, I want to show you the 50 follow-ups, 50 plus follow-ups I sent to my first $6,000 client to land him and how you can land clients too. So the first one was pretty simple. Man was, what's up? I, I basically replied to one of his posts. That's it, just to, get, to break into the inbox. That's what the main goal. That's the first thing you want to do. Because if you don't, then every message you send, it's not going to go there. And it's basically a waste of time. It was the first message. Then I, hey Marvin, some... Sometimes these videos don't play the way would you be easy. Yeah, and then I sent him a video, I think, and got deleted or something. And I was like, hey, would you be open to me sending a Loom video? He's like, yeah. And, uh, okay, bro. Hmm, where are the screenshot, by the way? Hmm. Anyway. So I, keep, I kept following up with him. Hey, Marvin, I promise here's the video. I hope you and then I, 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 I using this, this bullshit. I know you're probably busy climbing Mount Everest or something, but I just wanted to make sure you don't miss the free tips. That's insane, man. I wouldn't do this anymore. It's pretty sleazy. It's pretty sleazy. It's, it feels pretty forced. I don't even like using this stupid analogies anymore in my copy either. If you're coming from a course, which I'm not going to mention here, you base, you probably know that, ah, oh, you be creative, do analogies, do idioms do all this stuff if you don't feel like if you feel like this is like seeing a unicorn in your backyard and stuff then this these are, these are bullshit this, this don't work uh hey marvin i hope you don't become john wick or anything and throw a dagger at me oh my god how did they even land him with this outreach anyway but did you watch the video send you about potential ways you can increase your conversions bro ghosted and uh, why why did I get ghosted? I don't understand why. Anyway, that's from here's the video. I sent him uh, ghosted again. Hey, bro. Thanks for the video. I don't understand what you're doing. A lot of clients say this, bro. If you don't know, how can you not know what copywriting is? It's insane. How? What can I do? I'm a copywriter. What do you expect me to do? Magic? What? Magic tricks with fucking cards? <laughs> I don't understand this. Hey, Marvin. I'm curious, I've been throwing valuable with about I do, but you're treating me like the villain in your superhero movie. That's pretty good. Uh, actually, it's not good, but it's funny. And I got a response from this. I got a response from this. And he told me, okay, create a sales page on this. And that's what I did. I created a sales page for him. And from what he told me, it converted like crazy. He made a lot of money from it. So, yeah. That really got my foot on the door. Uh, can I see some projects? Well, I remember being on on vacation with my family when this was happening and i'm like okay i was telling my family okay i'm gonna close this millionaire now and i'm gonna make money i'm gonna make my first money i was so stoked at the point i was i was so happy man i was so happy and i was like okay i hope this happens i hope this happens mm, yeah i followed up with him yeah i remember following up with him for learning so, learning some information about what he's doing and what exactly he's selling and he started ghosting me again of course so what i do is just did something with i did my best with whatever i had that's what i did you'll be more satisfied with what you'll see again no nothing and then i sent him the thing he was like this is really good i'm like oh yeah yeah i got him i got him well you know something that could be added to the page like this this and this deliver the project it's really good that you liked it yeah and I, I hoped on a call, of course, because that's what you want to do. You want to, we want to propose the call at the moment they are on the highest. They're on the high, on the, on their highest. Okay. And you also do that with upselling clients, by the way, you, you want to upsell clients when they are in they when they have this win, when you just got them a win, let's say you made, help them make a lot of money and going to be like, okay, let's do this. And then that's when you ask for a, doing something else and making more money for him. And that's when you ask for a referral as well. When they're on the highest. And that's why you need to be a good copywriter, of course. Okay, man, calling the link. I sent him the calling link, he booked a call. Yeah, that's a mistake. That's a thing was happening. I was sending him a lot of... We, we were booking calls, but we never got on calls. He, he couldn't show up. And I don't blame him. He was a busy man. He's a busy man. I don't blame him. And he, he can't be hopping on calls with everyone. And that's something a lot of copywriters are... When this happens to them, they're fucking, they're getting depressed. They're getting depressed. I know this from, from my students. I know this from myself. And I know this from a lot of people copyright, um, messaging me. They're like, oh, I booked this call, but he didn't show up. And I'm like, 
Of course he's not showing up, he's at seven, eight figures, he's making millions, he has a business to run, he has this and this. He, he can't be hopping on calls. Stop, stop being so needy. Stop being so needy. But the, the, at the time, I, I didn't know. Of course, I didn't know what I'm saying to you now. So this took a, a toll on me. I, I wasn't really happy. I talked tomorrow. I booked another call. And he didn't, of course, he didn't show up. He booked another call. On the, on the calendar. Yeah. Totally forgot. <laughs> Had another interview. Of course, he didn't show up again. Second or third time. Oh, cool, man. I never really busy. So I'm just saying this to see if you're free tomorrow. What's up, man? Case again. No, again, follow up. Nothing. So if you if you want to read the follow ups I send, just pause and read them. Uh, I didn't know that. Check it out. So I noticed that every time I was sending him value, that's when he was responding. Okay, instead, how much do you charge? I may have a place for you in my community. That's where I was with my family. Actually, it wasn't the previous ones. This I was in an island with my family for summer vacation. And the moment I saw this, I'm like, yeah, yeah, my client, <laughs> she's gonna be my client. Depends on, remember, this is like, all these follow-ups are like two months. So it's taking me way too long, man. It's taking me way too long, months. You have five to ten minutes, hope on a call later today, so let me know. Look at to give me an idea for starting point. Yeah, I try to do the, the thing where I don't reveal the prices, which you don't want to reveal the price on the message. You gotta give me an idea of a starting point. Yeah, for price. And uh, uh, I feel like there's no reason why I wouldn't give myself for how does that sound? Of course, I didn't get ghosted. It's messy a lot. So how about we start with something small and, it, and discuss the details? How about we start making a few tweaks? You become your own. Yeah. And the investment for that would be this. And he said, willing to test you out. Bro, I remember being in the car with my family when this happened. And he told me, yes, I'm willing to. Oh, no, no. I wasn't with my... No, 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 I wasn't in the car. I was actually at a restaurant. I was actually at a restaurant. And we were just coming up back from the beach. You know, we were just there for a few hours. And I actually, I sent him this message. I'm like, okay, this isn't going to work, of course. He's, he's probably going to say no. He's probably going to say no. It's too expensive. I'll do this. And he's willing to test you out. And when this happened, bro, I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. I'm like, yeah, finally after... How many was? How much time was it? Eight nine months. I was doing cover for eight nine months, and I'm like, yeah, my first big project, my first eight figure client. That's what I was. That's what I thought. And of course, it didn't happen like this. It didn't happen like this. <laughs> Should we get started? Oh, we need. All I need is some info. I'm trying to play cool here. I'm trying to play like it's not a big deal, but I'm fucking screaming. And yeah. Like, cool. Should we get started? Or learn some info about your book? Or even better, access. He didn't respond. Second follow-up, he didn't respond. Third follow-up, he didn't respond. Fourth follow-up, he didn't respond. Okay, he responded the fifth follow-up. Uh, okay, he told me the... F yeah. Oh, yeah, I remember this, bro. Oh, God, yeah. I have these notes here because... I, I, I'm documenting the journey, you know? And I have this... Yeah, bro, I was, again, I was at the restaurant when this happened, he told, it was, the call was, like, 20, 30 minutes after this, after the time I sent the message, and I'm, and I'm on a restaurant with my family, I'm, we're sitting on the table, we just ordered food, the food had just came, and I'm like, can I have the, the keys to the car, and I'm like, I have a call in 30 minutes with this big client that I told you about, and he gave the keys, of course, I, I got, I went to the car, and I was preparing, I was watching the sales videos, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, brainwash my mind before the call and I'm gonna get on a call with him. I remember I remember that I had just learned that you wanna get the client to get into his own conclusions. Okay, that's that's the best way to sell. And I'm like, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna prepare some question. I'm gonna ask him that how important this thing that I wanna pitch him on is. And I prepare this funny question, this stupid question and I remember trying to, to put my phone in a way where it shows that I'm on a car and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. And I prepare everything and I wait. Five minutes pass. Ten minutes pass. Fifteen minutes pass. Twenty minutes pass. Thirty minutes pass. He never showed up. So not only did he not, <laughs> did I fucking lose the meal, which I had with my family, but he never showed up. And when this happened, I was like, oh, my God, what happened again? Again? 
Again? What the, what the fuck? You know, it never happened. So again, I started following up with him. And it's again, bet, looking forward to talking. For the fourth, fifth time. Yeah, and then I responded to one of his things, I think. And yeah, I try to then I try to sell him on the on the DMs because I'm like, okay, this isn't working. I'm never gonna, gonna get him on a call. So yeah, at this point I was convinced we never make a deal happen. He had dated me like 193 times. Yeah, and then I've, I sent him some voice notes about how the strategy goes. Yeah, when the free call by the way, do you know what are the conversion rates money collected? That's how I got my first one. Yeah, that's how I get my first uh, testimonial. Yeah. And he said we're about 15% conversion. We have about 100 people signed up for a 22k program, so that's 2.2 million. Working about the strategy. I'm, I'm, I'm going to do this. This, of course, he didn't get on a call with me again. I respect your services. Being crazy, yeah. For agreement. Yeah, and he's like, let's get on a call to discuss discuss the offer and agreement. I'm like, what? Of course, we didn't get on a call again, and. I followed up with him with something else. He connected me with his uh, CEO, which is Chief Operating Officer, I think. And I, I, I talked to him. I got on any kind of interview, some level sales call. I, of course, I over... I showed how crazy, how good I am. And they wanted to hire me. Nothing happened again. Uh, th this is like four months. This process is taking three, four months, remember. Uh, my new hotel. Why did you send you? Okay, I sent you. I sent to me. Yeah, and then, yeah, and I had done a project with another client here, and I had helped him make money. And I'm like, okay, just did this. How about we start working together? I'm like, sounds good. We did have another project doing something, and he's like, give me, give me a good, give me a good one-time project, a good deal for one-time project. I'm like. So I, I, I put up this document, I put up this document, I remember being like, I'm gonna charge crazy rates, I don't give a fuck at this point, I don't care if he says yes or no, and I sent him the document, everything was like $7,000, and I'm I'm like, okay, I, I, don't, I don't expect anything at this point, I don't expect anything at this point, and I sent him the document, and he already had my WhatsApp, so he's like, check your WhatsApp, and I'm like, what? what what do you mean check my whatsapp I, I i thought that you were gonna ghost me or something and i checked my whatsapp and it was like i had, I had received 20 messages and he, in um some for some context he had requested that i add whatever i would need for him if we were to work together so i put everything in the dock and i joined whatsapp and i see 20 messages and i'm like what on earth just happened did this just happen and i and he tells me Instead of 7k, can we do 6k? And I'm like, yeah, <laughs> we can. <laughs> yeah, we definitely can do 6k. But of course, I didn't do. It. I didn't say it like this. I'm like, yeah, sure, we can do this. That's what. That's another thing you want to do. You don't want to break frame. You don't want to appear like you've never done the thing. You want to come off as like, okay, I've done, I do. I do this all the time. I, this is second nature to me. So I did this, and I sent him an invoice for three thousand dollars. And when I received the paycheck, I fucking got insane, got mad. I didn't expect it was going to happen. Remember, I, I didn't expect anything when I sent him the thing. I was like, okay, it's probably going to be another, it's probably going to be another ghost or something. Or he's going to think I'm too, too, a charge too high. And when I received the paycheck, I remember I was sitting on this, on this desk, not on this chair, of course, I had a, another one. The, the one you've, you've seen in the previous videos. And when this happened, I got outside my door and I started screaming. Not in a, in a, in a weird gay way, but in a happiness. I was literally about to cry when this happened. I remember walking down and calling my parents, calling all of my friends. Like, I made it. My first money. $3,000. It was Probably the most money I had ever made. It was probably more money than I had ever made in the last 
nine months from copying. That was insane. That was insane. I mean, I'm fucking amazed. And then I'm going to upsell him and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. And I'm, I was so happy. So that was the four month process and the 50 plus follow ups I used to learn my first $6,000 client. If you found this valuable, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Love you.